I was looking at this bottle. It contains sodium silicate waste from a reaction. It has been sitting here for a very, very long time and eventually all the contents has solidified. Which actually shouldn't because it doesn't have carbon dioxide to react with, but whatever. Now this is silica gel. The water content is about 90% here. So you cannot really dry this thing because it will turn into powder. So how can you possibly exploit its properties without like really complicated setups and processes? So the answer is simple, just add very small amount of gypsum, let it cure and you are mostly done. Now this will be material of dubious strength, which it actually is, but what if I add sodium carbonate and calcium hydroxide and sinter the glass particles together? So I mixed this up and I've got this. Unfortunately, cat jumped on the table and almost destroyed it completely. I had to glue it together so this will affect the results and it may be even more brittle than it actually would be. Because I had to repair it, I have to evaporate water once again. So I have basically assembled this thing and let it run until it's dry. You cannot see the vapors very well, but in the infrared they are very prominent. So here you can see the temperature profile. It is pretty evident when the water disappeared from this thing. And it's slowly ramping up to about 160 it seems. That would be pretty good actually. But once I covered this thing, it seems that it will be a little bit higher. Even temperature on top is quite a lot higher, so this will contribute to the temperature on the bottom, of course. And I mean a lot higher. But even then it's better than the verniculite board. So I am very, very pleased with this one. What's not so nice is this. I mean, this thing wasn't sintered or anything. And also the crack looks like began on the place where it was repaired, so don't really know right now. The silica gel also wasn't perfectly cured, so this may have an impact on the strength. Anyway, this thing will be enclosed in metal container, so not a big deal, really. But I would really like to improve this cracking issue. This exact piece was really just proof of concept. Here you can see how this material reacts to open flame. It's very prominent on the top side. I don't know really why, I guess it reacted with carbon dioxide a bit more. But even inside after firing was hard. So I think it is possible to make this thing sinterable. I definitely need to redo this one, because it is very promising.